I picked up this giant gummy bear. It's giant as far as gummy bears go. And this thing weighs in at around 13 ounces or 370 grams. We thought it would be a perfect pellet gun target. And we kind of use it like a um, ballistic gel block. So let's see what surprising results we get. Now Matt brought along his Ruger Airhawk with a rated velocity using normal .177 caliber pellets of 1,000 feet per second. And I'll be shooting my Winchester 800X with a rated velocity of 800 feet per second. Both rifles have pretty substantial velocity, so try to imagine what it'll do to that gummy bear. Okay, the idea is we'll both shoot at the same time and we'll see who hits it? Maybe we'll both hit it. Three, two, one. Now the Winchester's on the left, Airhawk's on the right. Matt strikes first, even though we were very close at shooting at the same exact moment, just a split second off, and we both get a hit. Definitely you see a difference in the speed of the two pellets, though. Three, two, one. We both hit. Once again, Matt strikes in the face again. Mine is low. I'm shooting like crap and hit the gummy bear in the butt. We were really surprised the gummy bear just didn't go flying off the stool. Three, two, one. Once again, Matt is a millisecond quicker on the draw than me. And my pellet follows up right there in the arm as the gummy bear is recoiling. This is a shot from the side. M Matt's shot hits him in the throat. As it rolls back, there's mine in the arm. Much to our surprise, the pellets didn't go all the way through. They stopped. Um, that one's maybe an inch deep, if that. Mine is maybe five-eighths of an inch deep. And if you hold it up to the light, you can really see the entry holes and the pellets and everything inside there. So this gummy bear was a lot tougher than we expected it to be. Now bear in mind, my pellet rifle will go through about six inches of clay without any hesitation. And this little ru rubbery little gummy bear stopped the pellet like it was a joke. Now the gummy bear is actually made in two separate pieces and kind of stuck together and because it was warm out it became unstuck but that proved to be a uh, kind of nice because we were able to just peel it apart and you can see Matt's pellets which made it about halfway on some of the shots and uh, we were able to just kind of extract them out with our fingers without any problem. The giant gummy bear proved to be a very tough target and it was no joke at all. Thank you Jesse and Mike for letting me know where to get it and if you're interested in getting one you can pick one up for about six dollars at cost plus world market probably other places too. It's a lot better as a target than it is to eat. These things are kind of nasty tasting. Anyway, try shooting it and if you can do better than us, post a video response. Thanks for watching.